UCLA Bruins do it again on the road now, 16-5 and five under Jim Mora. On the road away from Pasadena, Josh Rosen leading the way with a win over Gary Anderson's Oregon State Beavers, convincingly 41 to nothing. Taking the ball away from Oregon State, Rosen goes to work. Here he is on a key third and long situation, and that's when the dam burst for Oregon State. Well, he's just a gifted player. I mean, you can bring pressure from a variety of angles. You can change up your defenses. But because he plays with such a wide vision, he can see the entire field. And he also can get very narrow at times and expose you in certain matchups like he utilized with Thomas Duarte. And for Nick Mitchell on the other side, just... Just a difficult night. Number one, going up against a really athletic defense. The most most athletic defense he's seen all year. And they got a lot of pressure with their front four, which forced him to get rid of the ball early. And this secondary was extremely opportunistic. Not have his best performance. Nine of 18, three picks. Utilizing those turnovers into points was UCLA. And he had a difficult night. Now Mitchell intercepted repeatedly. Dakarist McKinley putting pressure on through the course of the game. How could you even see back there if you're Mitchell? Because McKinley was right there in his face most of the afternoon. Well, he was bringing heat. It really was. I mean, this is a guy running a 10, 5, 7, 100-meter dash. I mean, he's got speed off the edge, three TFLs, tackle for loss, two sacks, and just wreaking havoc with his presence. When he's got that type of speed off the edge, with his size, his quick hands, his ability to get after offensive tackles, it's going to allow UCLA to take a run here. they got to take the next step against Washington State, but it's going to be fun to see if they can do it and get after Luke Falk in this offense. Yes. Yes, indeed, Yogi the Bruins, 4-2 and two in conference, 7-2 and two for the year. The home date against Washington State, and then on the road where they seemingly thrive at Utah and at USC. For the Beavers, their next effort is at California next week.